Welcome to the Wednesday Get Up. I'm Chris Killian and I've got news. First, Jurassic World 2 has officially confirmed it will be bringing Jeff Goldblum back as Dr. Ian Malcolm, which makes me more excited than Alan Grant listening to Dr. Malcolm's heartbeat. Seriously, I don't know who made this, but it's too good not to share. So kudos to you, brilliant stranger. As if that wasn't enough Jurassic goodness, an interview with actor Kevin Lane revealed that Jurassic World 2 will also feature an epic scene pitting a submarine against underwater dinosaurs. And if it turns out to be this underwater dinosaur, then I'm putting all my money on the Mosasaurus. Last night, the Flash returned to the CW after an extended hiatus, and when the Flash time travels to the year 2024, he meets Future Flash, aka Emo Barry. What are you doing, CW? You've broken one of the superhero deadly sins, which consists of no rubber nipples on any costumes, never let Nicolas Cage pick out his own wig, and never ever turn your hero into an emo kid. <sighs> Seriously, why does Peter have more guy liner than the lead singer of The Cure? Still, it's good to have the Flash back. Speaking of DC shows, Warner Brothers has announced a new live-action Teen Titans show that will feature Dick Grayson assembling a team of young heroes. More than likely, this will not be connected at all to the upcoming Nightwing film, but sources suggest it will be set in the same Arrowverse as all of DC's shows on CW. However, it will not air on the CW. The show is actually being produced for Warner Brothers' new DC-specific streaming service that will debut next year. And that's not all. The previously announced return of Young Justice is not going to Netflix, but will also exclusively be on the new DC streaming service. We're also getting more information about the long-awaited third season, and we know now it will be called Young Justice Outsiders. <laughs> Get it? That's the original Outsiders. It's a classic. No? What about these outsiders? Nobody? All right, fine. That's the get up, everybody. Hit me up on Twitter at Chris Killian, and always stay tuned to comicbook.com for the best geek news. <laughs>